from the name itself, World Trade Center, you can begin to imagine the possibilities. The World Trade Center Abuja stands in a class of its own. It is one of a kind mixed use facility in this part of the world. The concept behind the World Trade Center is to bring commerce, industry, create wealth for individuals, businesses, governments across the world. Hi everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Gabriel. So on today's episode, we'll be touring the only World Trade Center in Nigeria. Out of the 330 World Trade Center we have across the globe, this right here is the only World Trade Center we have in Nigeria. And I'm sure if you live here in Abuja or reside in Abuja, I'm sure you drive by these two towers and you'll be wondering what's inside these two towers. So today we'll be answering all your questions regarding the World Trade Center. And joining me on the tour today, guys, is Mr. Ahmed Karim. He is the Vice President of World Trade Center Nigeria. So let's go right into the video and let's ask him some couple of questions. Welcome on the channel, sir. Thank you. Uh, please, can you introduce yourself to our audience here? Yeah? Uh, my name is Karim Adelaja Ahmed. I'm the Vice President, World Trade Center, Abuja. Oh, great, great, great. Perfect. So, sir, um, I'm sure my audience, also me, would like to know what uh, is the idea, what's the concept about World Trade Center. Can you introduce us to the World Trade Center? I think from the name itself, World Trade Center, you can begin to imagine the possibilities. Okay. The World Trade Center Abuja stands in a class of its own. It is one of a kind mixed use facility in this part of the world. The idea, the concept behind the World Trade Center is to bring commerce, okay. industry, create wealth for individuals, businesses, governments across the world. We are a part of the over 334 World Trade Centers across the world. The headquarters is in New York, uh, the famous World Trade Center that you've all heard about. Mm, yeah. And um, we network amongst uh, one another under the World Trade Center Association to be able to empower people, to be able to grow wealth and develop businesses, governments, and countries. Wow, that's so nice. Wow, I didn't know that, guys. I'm sure you didn't know that as well. <laughs> So, sir, um, I, I'm sure you mentioned residential and uh, commercial. Can you start with the residential? What's it about? Yeah, uh, the interesting thing about the World Trade Center is that we said it's a convergent point, right, where people come to do business. And if you're going to do business, you need a place to meet, you need a place to sleep, you need a place to do business, you need yeah. a place to discuss, and that's the whole concept. So, we've got the first phase of the uh, World Trade Center Abuja completed now, which comprises of the commercial tour and the residential tours. The residential tower comprises of super luxury apartments. It's a one of a kind. Mm -hmm. We've got stunning penthouses, we've got dedicated pool villas, your own private garden villas wow. with your own private elevators. Wow. Uh, we've got them in regular flats and duplexes. Okay. Okay. And the configuration ranges from one bedroom regular flats to two bed, three bedrooms. So we've got duplexes in mm. four, five, six, and we've got some very beautiful and exclusive apartments in the penthouses and on the ground floor. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So guys, stay tuned because we actually taught some of these apartments and which we'll be showing you after this interview. Also, sir, can you give us an insight on the commercial tower? What's yeah, the commercial, uh, tower? the commercial towers uh, is a 22-story uh, infrastructure. Okay. Uh, it is built on forward thinking technology. And what I mean by that is that, uh, first off, energy is an issue in most parts of the world now. Mm -hmm. And the building was conceived to help you maximize and minimize the best use of energy. And what I mean by that is that it has a wraparound, um, what's it called? It is wrapped around by uh, a double glass facade. Okay. This glass facade helps protect against ultraviolet rays. It also helps prevent your energy 
for example, if your room is cold now, it helps mm. prevent it from escaping outside okay. and it prevents the heat from outside from coming, coming inside, inside as well. Yeah. Okay. So you enjoy the best of both worlds. And also it is flexible in the sense that uh, we can cater to small businesses from as low as 130 square meters mm. to as large as a floor plate of about 1,440 square meters. Right. Wow. So the possibilities are endless, really. Wow. And the good thing about it also is that in terms of space efficiency, we have space efficiency of about 85%. And what I mean by that is that you are able to maximize the best use of your space. You don't have pillars in the middle of the space. You have a panoramic view wow. of the city of Abuja. Yeah. Really nice. So those are the kind of um, things that I'm, you get I'm to sure see. I'm sure you guys are thinking of me or when you guys build this. <laughs> well, 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 it's a World Trade Center, like I said. It sells itself. And there's a uh, standard required of World Trade Centers across the world. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Uh, another question is, uh, what are the benefits of uh, me buying into the World Trade Center? What, what are the benefits? Yeah, uh, that, that's an interesting question in the sense that we, we, we had mentioned that it's a convergent point okay. of, for businesses, right? So first off, you know you have a niche of people who think and oh. do business, right? So you're not sure, you, you, can't be de you can't be definitely sure that the next door neighbor is going to be doing business with you. You're also sure that uh, your neighbors are the like the like-minded kind of people you want to have around. Mm -hmm. So outside of that, it also gives you an access to the global network of World Trade Centers. Okay. And what I mean by that is that um, irrespective of the kind of business that you're doing right now, be it mining, be it oil and gas, okay. we're able to open doors for you across the world. So you're mm -hmm. looking for business partners, you're looking for talent, you're looking for infrastructure, whatever it is, you name it. Once you're a member of the World Trade Center, you have access to all of these across the world. Yeah, oh, yeah. I see. So I want to ask also, is this, because you mentioned a lot of international, is it just open to just international investors or you're also open to partner with some local uh, enterprises here in Nigeria or are you just based on, on uh, international? So when, when I mentioned, when I said international trade, first international yeah. trade, I also talked about creating wealth, right? Okay. Yeah. Every in locations where you have the World Trade Center domiciled, right? It's about creating wealth for the local populace, right? Okay. So we've got the international feel and the international connect to make that work. So uh -huh. it's all about enriching people in Nigeria. So it's meant for the Nigerian businesses, be it small scale, be it large scale. It's meant mm -hmm. for the government to also explore. It's meant for other international organizations, governments, and donors, etc., to be able to benefit from. Yeah, so it's open to virtually everybody, both local and international. And that also means if I am a World Trade Center member in maybe New York or anywhere, once I'm in Nigeria, I can always come in here, have access. It doesn't always work like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How does it work? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So w what it means is that, w what we mean by access is that um, you, you have access to the network, okay. right? Okay. Um, so you, once you're a member of the World Trade Center Abuja, you can interact with all of these other World Trade Centers and grow your business. Oh. So are you looking for opportunities? Are you looking for raw materials? Are you looking for machinery, equipment? Mm -hmm. Are you looking for talent? Are you looking for partnership? Whatever it is, you have all of this World Trade Center. Let me, let me put it in real terms for you <laughs> okay. so that you understand. Um, say you are into gold mining in Nigeria. Okay. And you're looking for professional partners to convert this raw gold into finished products for you. Mm. Right? Okay. We are the partners to come to. What we'll do is that we'll introduce you to legit people, organizations, wherever you want across the world. Oh. So we'll do the handshake for you so that you can do your business. You mine your gold, we'll link you up with these international partners who can probably convert your gold to something else, maybe to jewelry okay. or whatever, and then you guys can partner. So you have no fear. You have mm. no worries because we've linked you up with the right set of people across the world. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. So for the office spaces, is it uh, you have a particular business one or one person should be doing or you you're open to actually it's a it's a free for all but we're okay. open to all kinds of businesses, businesses yeah yeah come in. Okay. we're open to all kinds of businesses be it tech be it finance oh, be it nice. oil and gas whatever it is you're doing even if it's small scale as long okay. as you're here to make money to do business and okay. you want to be able to have access to the rest of the world 
World Trade Center Abuja is the place That's to nice. be. That's nice. So yeah. uh, in terms of the commercial also, yeah. is it uh, price friendly for people to come in? <laughs> like, you know, I, I would love to have my office there in World Trade Center as exactly. well. So <laughs> I don't know, is it price friendly for people to come so, in? So look, it is not cheap, Okay. right? And um, it is deliberate because the infrastructure itself is A class. It is a one of a kind. And you don't expect that um, it would come cheap, yeah, right? So you're getting the best of the best. Yeah, so it's not cheap, but it is affordable, right? Yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah. So I also noticed there's a uh, Abuja Metro right across us. Yes, yes, Was yes. Was that on purpose or? Well, um, when we conceived of the World Trade Center Abuja, um, we also paid attention to what was surrounding the, the complex. Uh, we are in the diplomatic community. Okay. Uh, we have a lot, most of the embassies surrounding the World Trade Center, including the metro station that you talked about that takes you to the airport and major cities mm. in, no, in northern part of Nigeria. But the idea is to be able to have the one-of-a-kind address. This is the Constitution Avenue yeah, in central. the central business yeah. district of yeah. Abuja. Yeah. Perfect location. I'm, I'm sure anyone driving past, if you drive past this property, I'm sure you'll be wondering <laughs> what's inside here. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it really speaks for itself. You know, once you're driving by this uh, two towers, you could actually tell that this is something different. Because this, I think this is the tallest property, the tallest yeah, tower. Yeah, 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 these yeah. are the tallest towers. So it's actually the tallest tower in yeah. uh, Nigeria. So this is great. Also, what are the recreational... Uh, what recreational activities do you have going on? Because yeah, um, if I leave here, what are the as part activities? of this first phase um, okay. is a recreational center, right? It's just beside, in between both tours. Okay. Uh, we have uh, amenities like a squash court, tennis courts. We've got gymnasium. Wow. We've got spa, Olympic size swimming pool. You've even got you've got a crutch. Uh, really? Yes, 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 to be able to Guys, get that's to nice. Yeah, yeah. So the idea is for you to be able to really live, mm. walk, and play in, in the heart of Abuja. Yeah. Wow, that's good. So also, in terms of uh, security, what do, you, what do you tell people security-wise? Because I know Nigeria, most people, especially international brands, they are also concerned about security. Yeah. So what are the guarantees you're giving to these investors of yours or security-wise? Yeah, are so th there are no absolute guarantees, especially when it comes to security, but okay. we try. Um, it's important to mention, um, especially what we have, we have both soft and hard technology in place okay. uh, to secure occupants um, at the World Trade Center. Um, when I'm talking about, um, talking about soft technology, uh, the, our security system is powered by Honeywell technology. It's mm. one of a kind. It's, um, every step you actually take in the World Trade Center is followed by a pair of eyes in the general areas. So every square meter has an eye looking at it. That's to ensure that you're safe at, at most times. Also, uh, we have um, uh, automated access control systems. You can't go anywhere in the building unless someone gives you access. Is it that the mm -hmm. occupants of that place gives you access or you get authorization at the reception, right? So you can just wander into the building. Also, we have a um, uh, vehicle management system in place, scanners, BPs, and all of oh, that. So all of those things are in place to ensure that we give you the best, the best. possible mm. uh, kind of security and comfort. That's, that's really available. nice. Yeah. So uh, maybe the last question would be, uh, in terms of the commercial and the residential, yes. what's like the payment plan? Do you guys have a payment plan for people? Um, Yes, we are, we are flexible. Okay. We are flexible. Um, we are also not a bank. <laughs> <laughs> we are also not a bank. But we are flexible within reason. Um, so it depends. I think it's on a case-by-case -case basis. Okay. Uh, but we are very flexible. And it's something we are, yeah, 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 we, we okay. consider very okay. strongly. Yeah. All right. So, uh, guys, we'll be going to show you, uh, we'll be showing you the commercial tower and then we'll also show you some apartments, the three bed apartments in the residential tower and one of the duplex apartments in also the residential tower. So thank you so much, sir. Thank you thank so much. Thank you very much so for your time. Stay on the tour, guys. Let's go tour these beautiful properties. I'm sure you're already in love with the water center. And don't forget, if you're trying to buy a unit, if you're trying to come in as an investor, we are open to investors also so for more details it will be uh, written in the description center so just check the description below so let's go check out the apartment guys
All right, so we are in the residential tower, and this is sitting on 23 floors, and this is the tallest residential building in the city of Abuja. So this apartment comprises of one bed apartment, two bed apartments, three bed apartments, and duplex apartments. Right now, we are at the lobby. You can see how special the lobby is. So you have this other side of the waiting area. Your receptionist is here. You have this side of the waiting area, and then you also have the other end of the waiting area. So we'll be touring the three bed apartment and one of the duplex apartments. Let's check out what this beautiful apartment right here in Water Center looks like. Come with me on the tour, guys. All right, so let's go upstairs. So right before we go up, I want to introduce you to this lift here. This lift is Shinla branded. It's quite one of the fastest lift in the world and it can take you up to the 23rd floor in less than 30 seconds. So let's go up. Let's check it. Okay, so welcome to the three bed apartment. I can't help but notice this giant pivot doors. It's really nice. And this is the ante area. So you have, you could have a bit of a family pictures and all of that here. And to your right, you have the powder room or the guest toilet, the powder room. You can see it's quite spacious. I love the tiles, the wall tiles. It's, it's really, really nice. This is the three bed show apartment. It's not coming furnished, but if you want us to do all of this, you love all of this, we can do this for you. So this three bed apartment has a wrap around balcony. Two bedrooms have uh, the, the view. There's a balcony for the two bedrooms and one room is for uh, the kids room. So that room doesn't have the, the view. And also there's a maid room as well. So this is the living room area. Let me know what you think. Look at the Bluetooth speakers. I love how perfectly finished and well furnished this apartment is. These are all Turkish furnitures as well. You can see there's a fire alarm system and then there's a concealed ACs. There's Bluetooth speakers here. So when you come in here, all you have to do is just relax, man. This is one of the best apartments you see in Abuja. So I'm not kidding you. Just stay true to the end of this tour. You're gonna love everything you have to see here. So this is the dining area. I really love the fact that it gave a lot of room for our apartments because you want to make sure you have space in your apartment. So see the dining area. I like this chandelier. It's so nice. There's something I noticed when I came here. If you do this, it's kind of like a bell. Come get your food. So <laughs> it's really, really nice. And I, I like this. So also the uh, paintings all around the apartments brought out the beauty of these apartments from the rug, the furniture, the big screen TV, the lightings. And also when you're in these apartments, because we're in the fourth floor actually, you can't help but notice the view of all the, all the rooms in the apartment, the view, you can have this lovely view. So sometimes you don't even need to be watching TV. All you need to do is sit down here and just pay attention to the view. The view is nice. And there is an access point from the living room area, like I said, is a wrap around uh, balcony all. So there's a view here, you could always come out and then have a seat. If you want to have some quiet time, you and your family, you just sit out there and then have a view of this Abuja. Abuja is beautiful, guys. Let me know what you think of this apartment. So let's check out the kitchen and also the maid's room area. There is a door here that actually, if you want to uh, leave this door, you can lock the main house and then you, the maid comes in from here. There's a laundry here. So the maid can get access to the laundry. Come in from, you don't need to enter inside the house. This is the maid's room and you have the kitchen. So the maid have access to the kitchen. When you come into the kitchen, you can see it's quite spacious. This is the kitchen area and you have this also for, you know, you could have a, wrap, a small meal you know, you just have meals, a couple of meals with you and your family. I want you to pay attention to the appliances. The kitchen comes fully fitted. Just like you're seeing here, it's going to come with everything you're seeing here, fully fitted. Bosch appliances, you can see the extractor Bosch appliances, you can see the gas Bosch appliances. There's an induction cooker. There is also an oven Bosch as well. So this plays the, the, the best of the best furniture and the best of the best equipment and all of that. See the microwave as well, Bosch, and even down to the fridge, you have a Bosch fridge as well. You can see it's never been used. And then you have this wine cellar here. This is, this is wine for the wine. It's also Bosch as well. So you can store your wine and then it's beautiful. There's central AC all through the place. And then you have the double door fridge. 
and freezer, steel watch as well. So let's check out the rooms. Let me know what you think about this apartment. I'm already in love with this apartment. Let me know what you think. So right before we get to the rooms, I want you to know the theme for this ap uh, particular apartment is uh, contemporary. So you will notice a bit of a contemporary designs right from the chairs, the TVs, even the uh, TV consoles. Everything has to play its own role. Like the, the contemporary, we have to make sure it's full contemporary apartment, not too much shiny furnitures and all that, just simple and very minimalistic as well. All right, so we'll be checking out the rooms. We have three rooms in this apartment. I just love this artwork. What do you think about this, guys? It's really nice. So this is bedroom number one, central AC everywhere. And like I mentioned earlier, all rooms have access to the balconies. This is one of the rooms. You can see central AC, I love the artwork. It's quite spacious enough. Then you have this, so you can walk from here. You can have a TV if you want to. And then this is the bathroom, well in suit. All the rooms are in suit as well. Check out the rooms well in suit. And right here you have the lamps. You can have your uh, lamp there. So if you want to sleep, you can just turn it on fit. And then you also have this, the wardrobes. You can see how quality they all look as well. Quality wardrobes. Let's check out the other room. So this is bedroom number two. This is the kids room. Like I mentioned, so we also have one room for the kids. So each of these apartments have the kids room, even down to the one bed. The one bed also have a BQ and other type of apartment. So the three bed, this is the uh, kids room. So you don't have access to balcony because we're trying to be safe for the kids. You know how kids can be. They get too excited and want to try Spider-Man outside the house. So <laughs> this is one of the rooms. And uh, let me show you the bathroom. So before you go in, there's uh, the wardrobe here and also this is the bathroom. So the bathroom, the vanity area is here and then you have the WC. And of course you have your walk-in shower here. There's a walk-in shower. So you just go in, have a quick shower. Let's check out the master's bedroom. So when you come into the master's bedroom, you can't help but notice this lovely view you get from the master's. Just check out the master's. So from the master's, you have its own private balcony. This is the master's bedroom, guys. This is so spacious. Let me know what you think about this master's bedroom. This is so spacious. Let me check out, the, let's check out the bathroom also as well. This is the bathroom for the masters. I want you to pay attention from your masters, you're having a view. So all around is a wrap around balcony. So you have a view from everywhere. So in the master's uh, bathroom, you have the ease and ours. There's a mirror here where you could put your things also all over here. And then you have this, uh, WC, and then you have a walk-in shower. For people like me that love shower, this is your, you're gonna appreciate this. If you love showers, you can use this. You know, this is a shower. The World Trade Center is building what's not been seen in Abuja. They are actually going all out, and I really, really do love every bit of it. This apartment, it's very iconic. I love the view. I love everything about this apartment. It's in Central Business District. It's one of the best. So this is for your wardrobes. And then you have this couple of chairs, so you could sit chair. So I'm sure this room, you don't need a TV because if you are here, why are you looking for a TV when you have the view? Just check out, you have nice view. And then from your bed, there's a, if you want to have, there's a speaker here and then the lamps over there. So you can sit down. If you're tired of staying indoors, you can always come outside and just have a view. Guys, this is amazing. Let me know what you think. Would you buy this apartment? And also this place is very, very, good for um, investment in terms of if you want to turn it to a short lead apartment because you also have the commercial tower you want to turn it to a short lead apartment you're going to make so much money from this place so let's go check out the duplex apartments this is one of the best also let's go check it out guys
Okay, guys, so this is the four bed duplex apartment. You start off from those is in this giant pivot doors. I really love the doors. And this four bed duplex apartment is on two floors actually the 23rd and the 22nd floor. So for a year now, this is your ante room. You want to start by noticing this. Actually, this is really nice. I love when you walk into the apartment, it's, it brings out, uh, it creates a statement first. So when you come in, you notice this artwork and then I like this also, the flowers. Then two, also, this is an amazing piece as well. Let me know what you think, this is an amazing piece. And to your left, you have the powder room. And so, you know, like I said, when you when you come into a house, your uh, powder room has to make a statement actually because so, not everyone gets to get into the rooms, but they get to see this. So this is the powder room. I love the glass. Uh, I love the glass mirrors here, and then your WC, the tiles, the wall tiles are amazing. I like the lightings, and then check out this gold plated washer and WC. This this is the vanity. I like that. And let's go check out the rooms. So right before we get to the rooms, this is the living room area with the dining. It flows through to the dining. And this is a total of 521 square meters. The three bed we thought was around 200 square meters. Well, this is a four bed duplex and is an over 521 square meters. This is the living room area. Let me, so it also has, um, a wrap around balcony like I mentioned earlier and then the view in this apartment we are going to tour it's amazing the view in this apartment is amazing it's breathtaking actually so you have the living room here so you could watch your tv you could close all of that and central ACs and you also have this hidden box like I, I call it the hidden box so when someone comes in first you have this so when you open this, you have some scotch whiskey. There's a wine cellar fridge here. You could actually put your wine here and all that. So for my guests, what would you want to take? Do you want Hennessy? Do you want a Glefidage? Let me know, are you a whiskey person? I'll just pour a glass, you know, it's all you. So I really like this. And like I always mention, it's actually to the client stays. If you want us to furnish this, if you love the team, the contemporary team you're seeing here, right from the concealed air conditions, you have then this, all of this. You can check this, check this out. It's amazing artwork, amazing piece. And then on the walls, you just need to look at this, the wallpaper, it's amazing. Just, I love everything about this apartment. Then also what I want you to notice is this staircase actually. So pay attention to this staircase. So this staircase is actually customized to what the client wanted. So you can either want to have a glass, because for me, I feel it's kind of scary. You know, sometimes you don't want, probably if you have kids, this is scary for kids. And also you might come back and then a bit drowsy and then you might fall off. But then this particular apartment, the, uh, the owner wanted this. So you can see there's no glass preventing the staircase and it's a floating staircase you can see floating staircase so yeah so before we go into the rooms i want you to pay attention to this living room going all the way to the dining area you can see this artwork piece the beautiful lightings i love this everything about this apartment is amazing then also you can't miss this view so you, from this view, you could see this is the view of the whole of Abuja. You can't get anywhere as beautiful and breathtaking as this. Look at this. So we're on the 21st floor. Look at the view you get from Abuja. Look at the total green area, the total green space. It's amazing. And also, it's a wraparound balcony. So we're going to go check the other balcony. And let's see. Let me show you the view from here. So you also have a balcony. So when you come out, this is the balcony. See the view. Abuja is a beautiful city, guys. I tell everyone everywhere, every time, anytime, Abuja is one of the best cities in Nigeria and is the capital city of Nigeria. So this is beautiful. Look, just check out the landscaping, check out the houses. I mean, this should pass off from one of the best cities in Africa. Come on, let me know what you think. And also, what I wanted to know is um, the glasses, they are double glazed. They are double glazed glasses and then they use icon gas. So it allows for um, the, the heat doesn't come into the apartment. So it allows for central cooling of the whole place and then noise cancellation as well. So when you're inside, you can't actually even get to hear any noise from outside. And you have two rooms on this floor here. So we have two rooms on this floor. But before we get to the rooms, let me show you there's a kitchen here. So the kitchen, same as the, uh, the three bed, has 
all the Bosch appliances, you have fully fitted kitchen, all the appliances, there's a, a gas cooker Bosch, you have the microwave Bosch appliances, everything, fully fitted kitchen cabinets and all that. Okay, so all the way, the kitchen and then there's a, a maid room there. So let's check out the two rooms. You've, you have, first of all, the guest room. So this is the guest room. All rooms are in suite here. This is one of the smallest rooms you get in this apartment. The guest room, then you have the bathroom there as well. There's a, your, batch, uh, your wardrobes as well. So this is one of my favorite rooms. This is, it's not actually the master's room, but it's so spacious. Just check out this space. You have the reading lamp and of course, you know one thing I like about this? This particular room has one of the best views you're gonna get in the total rooms in the apartment. This is one of the best uh, views you're gonna get. So from here, you have the city view, guys. Just imagine this. You have a whole city view, so if you're me, I'm sure you don't need this television here. All you need is this view. Waking up to this view, this is luxury, guys. This is luxury because you don't get to see this. You can't find this anywhere in Abuja, guys. This is the best view you can get in Abuja. And then you have your big size, king size bed. It's very spacious. And obviously, this is the bathroom. Is and has bathroom and also wrap around. When you're taking a shower, you have a view. Man, everywhere around this property, there's a view to all the rooms, to all the bathrooms. So you will definitely be seeing breathtaking views of everywhere in Abuja. So is and has, you have the WC, the vanity area. I love this. And guys, so right before we get into the balcony view, this is your wardrobe space. You see your wardrobes, you have lots of cabinet spaces. And obviously, one thing I've been waiting to do is just come out from this and I'm gonna show you what Abuja looks like. Come with me, guys. So when you come out from this beautiful apartment, this is the city view. The three bed apartments, you notice when we came out from the balcony, it was, I had a calm, calm view and all that. You don't really hear. So if you want to wake up to this view, this is the best view, guys. You can't get any of this. You can't get this anywhere in Abuja. Abuja is so beautiful. It's so serene. You just check out the roads. I mean, this is where you should move to. If you're coming to Niger for the first time, guys, I would recommend Abuja because if you don't love traffic, <laughs> trust me, no one loves traffic, but if you don't like traffic at all, Abuja is one of the best cities to be in. Just look at this view. And we're in Central Business District. You can actually see the whole of Abuja. Check out the beautiful mountains. It's breathtaking, guys. Let me know what you think. This is breathtaking. So you have this as well. So it's a wraparound balcony, like I mentioned earlier. So you can all the way, all the way, all the way from here. So you could have chairs, you know, you could keep the chairs. It's really, really amazing. So let's go check out the two rooms upstairs. So right before you leave this door, there is a box room here. And Obviously, we're about climbing the floating staircase. But so, like I mentioned earlier, you can actually have this glass so the clients determine whatever they want. So if you want this to be glass, fine. Because for me, I'm a bit scared of. <laughs> but if you want it, fine, you can just close it up. So when you come to the first floor, the first thing you're going to notice is this beautiful art piece over there. See the art piece, and then I like the view from here. I think I like the floating staircase. What do you guys think about the floating staircase? It's really, really beautiful. And aside from that, you also have the second living room. Check out how spacious this is. And I'm also gonna be talking about the view because the view is always a very, very, it's necessity. If you're buying this place, is the view you're buying it. So first of all, let's check out. This is the second living room. See how spacious it is. You can just sit down. Relax, watch TV. This is a family area. It's an entertainment area. So there's a lot, a lot of space. I love the chandeliers everywhere. It's beautiful. And then, guys, check out this. This view is breathtaking. Every time you're gonna wanna wake up, stay here and just, you know, you have a lot of dreams. You know, you bought this place. I'm sure you're very, very rich to own a place here. This is really, really beautiful. And then look at the Abuja Metro over there. It has this calm feel when you're here. 
Abuja has a lot of landmass. You can see there's a lot of green areas everywhere. That's one thing I like Abuja. So they take our time to plant um, the trees and all of that. So it's beautiful. So right before we get into the rooms, pay attention to the concealed ACs. There's Wi-Fi, there's intercom. You could call the gates. There's a whole lot. The underground parking spaces, everything is beautiful. Check out this. I like this artwork. It's really nice, kind of reaching out to you. <laughs> And, and then the TV console, like I, you saw the TV console, this is the TV console, but I didn't open it, so let me just show you. So once you, you tap, it opens up. So once you tap in, you tap, it opens, you see? And then the huge Sony TV, and also same thing like we have downstairs. So for this one, it's actually empty, so you could actually do what you want to do here. The space for a whole lot, you know. And then, before we go into one of the rooms, so this is the laundry. So for this particular floor, because you'll be asking, you know, ideally we're used to seeing duplex on just a whole duplex. So now this is a duplex on floors. So I'm sure people are not mostly used to this because I, actually I wasn't used to this as well. But then, for you to have a duplex in this kind of a high rise, you need to be on another floor. It means the con, it's quite connected to the floor downstairs so we just come up the way up so right here there's also the laundry and then there's this door that you can have access from you know the back door and also this is your box room there's a box room that's the laundry there's a box room and then this right here is the kids room so when you come in this is the kids uh, bedroom you have this so they could play around here no, just have their own living room area. There's gonna be a TV here. Right you have all of this. This is the there's wardrobe. a lot of space. This is a wardrobe and space. So there's a wardrobe right for the kids. This is the Central AC everywhere. And obviously this is the bedroom. So like I mentioned earlier, one of the rooms in all of these apartments, we cannot keep it for the kids. So we doesn't have access to the balcony. So just so they are safe. It doesn't have access to the balcony, but then you will notice there's also a view. So they are all automated. You just press this and then it opens up. And you have this for your, you know, probably you want to, the reading lamp, they could read here, you know, sit down here, do their homework and all that. And then pay attention. This is the room size. It's, I just love this simple team everywhere. The room size is quite spacious. You still have a view. <sighs> Guys, I can't stress enough about this view in this particular apartment. The view in this apartment, it's breathtaking. It's so insane. I really love the view. It's really, really beautiful. So right before we go into the uh, master's bedroom, there's, here is the, you have this, also the bathroom. So from the bathroom, you have the uh, vanity area. You have the WC over here. It's, that's where your laundry stuff can be. And then you have the walk-in shower. You know, I obviously like the shower, so you just take a quick shower while you're singing, you know. Some people are very professional bathroom singers, you know. <laughs> so you have that there. And the moment you've been waiting for, which is also the moment I've been waiting for, is to see what the master's bedroom looks like in this particular apartment. So are you ready? Are you ready? So come on, guys. Let's check out what the master's bedroom looks like. Just gonna hold that thought a bit. I've been touring houses for a while and then I must say, I'm gonna save this for the best because this is amazing, the masters. I'm sure you can't wait to see it. Come in. Welcome to the masters. Woo! So this is the masters area. Look at the space, guys. Just check out the space. I'm gonna open this up for you to see what it looks like. This is the masters, guys. This is a masters bedroom. The king size bed, you have this space here, you have the couch. It's so spacious. I just love the TV, so you could actually turn this anyhow you want to turn it to. If you're sitting here, you want to watch it. If you're sitting here, you want to turn it. And then it's everything about this place. It's amazing. Check out this. So you kind of have a wrapped around balcony, like I mentioned earlier. So from here, you have a view. When you're lying down and waking up, the first thing you get to see is the city view, guys. This is never been seen on the channel. And I want you to tell me 
all you feel or what you think about this master's bedroom. Is this the biggest master's bedroom I've taught? Don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe actually. Share this video with your friends, but then check out the space, the closet space. You can see lots and lots of storage spaces. You can see endless storage spaces, a whole lot of spaces. And then you have this mirror here. So you wake up in the morning and then you check up a good suit. It's like this, you know, you just look at yourself. I mean, you worked hard for this. You could sit down, put off your shoes, you know, your shoe horn. And then also, there's something I want to tell you about this masters. Is the master's bathroom. Because it's the he's and her. So just come and let me show you. This is the biggest bathroom you've ever seen. And I was just waiting to show you this. So when you come in, this is the he's and her's bathroom. So you can see uh, right here, this is the vanity area. You have the bathtub if you want to soak in the top. And of course, when you soak in the top, you have a view of the city of Abuja. Guys, you just throw in, you know, it's not every time you want to be in the shower. You throw in here and then put up some nice petals and then you can actually come out of, there's a balcony so you can come out from the bathroom and just stay outside, you know, glass of champagne, you know, just, this very luxury lifestyle you want to live in. This is, this apartment gives you that access to that. So you also have this, you can sit here, you know, dress up, do anything you want to do. Then you have this, the shower, Come in, there's a shower here, you take a quick shower, walk-in shower. It's beautiful. This is, guys, this is never been seen on the channel. So when you look at this, there's a, the WC, you have the B day, you have the laundry box there, then you have a whole lot of this, so you can actually do anything you want to put up here, you want to put up there, here, and just across here, let me show you. So right here, you have spaces where you can keep your things here yeah, and then you also have this space as well you can see so it's amazing man guys i've never seen this before and i'm super excited to see a master's bedroom as big as this guys it's so so beautiful this is the four bed so let's check out the view from the master's bedroom this is the master's bedroom you have here you could actually sit down here you know when you're here the inspiration you get from reading here or walking from here, it's, it's different, you know. Abuja is one of the calmest cities in Nigeria and obviously when you're here, like I mentioned earlier, the heat emission, um, because of its double glaze and then the acron gas we use, you could actually feel this is actually very cold right now. The central AC, this room is very cold. So it doesn't, um, the heat doesn't come in, even if we're in the last floor, and then the sound, you can't hear anything. It's, it's noise cancellation, totally. So when you open this, that's when you could actually hear the sound right now. So, but also when you come outside, guys, I can't stress this enough. The view, it's amazing. I'm just, if you take a picture from here, you're going to think, uh, people are going to think you are using a drone to take a picture because it's something else, man. This is never been seen in Abuja. I just like everything I'm seeing here, man. That's it for the masters and I don't know, wouldn't you want to live in this, wouldn't you want to live here because I want to live, I personally would love, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm going to leave this place, I personally would love to pack in my bags and be inside here because it's so, so beautiful guys. You have this big closet and then you also have this closet as well. So right, let's show you this. There's a closet as well, so you could actually use this for your personal walk-in closet aside from that. So you have a personal walk-in closet here. It's big, man. Never seen this before, and you can only find this in Water Center, guys.
So guys, that's it for today. Let us know what you think about the World Trade Center Abuja. Would you be buying or investing into the residential tower or the commercial tower? And let us know what your comment is in the comment section. And if this is your first time on the channel, guys, don't forget to like this video, share this video with your family and friends. Until the next time, don't forget we are the best brokerage firm right here in the city of Abuja. So see you next time. Take care. Bye.